Hi everybody, this is Gatsad. I hope that you're all doing well. One of the opportunities that is afforded to us during the current global pandemic is that we get to spend more time with our loved ones. And if you have young children, then it's a great opportunity to bond even more with them. Uh, in that spirit, earlier today, I was reading some of my young daughter's uh, short stories and I read one or two of her poems. And then I had an idea. Uh, I thought, okay, let's play a game. And it just came to me on the fly and we ended up playing the game. It's a, I call it rapid fire poetry. And I ended up playing uh, the game with my daughter and we're going to read you our poems. So be kind, be sweet and realize that uh, if you're going to be mean, be mean towards me, but not toward my daughter. Uh, so the way the game works is as follows. We agreed, my daughter and I, that we have to uh, come up with a topic. So I asked her, what topic do you wanna do the poem on and write a poem about? And she said, the color gray. So I said, okay, so we have to write a poem about the color gray using three verses, four lines per verse, and up to seven words per sentence. And we had 20 minutes to do it. We both ended up finishing our contributions in, uh, I think it was about 12 minutes. Uh, so we didn't need the full 20 minutes. And here is, here are our respective contributions. In less, in roughly 12 minutes, this is what we came up with. Now I introduce to you my daughter who will read her part. Take it away, daughter. Okay, so the bay looked gray on my birthday. I wanted to play till I saw a prey. I ran away right away. It was Sunday. I followed a gateway. I heard my mother say, hey, come back. This is Norway. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. So I asked my daughter, how did she generate that poem? And she said, well, I was just looking for words that rhymed with one another and that seemed to be coherent and made sense. And so this is what she came up with, which I think for a child of her age is fantastic. I took a different approach. I said, okay, well, I'd like to come up with some, what is the story that I want to tell in this poem? And so I thought, okay, gray, well, gray is right? It's, a, it's, it's between black or white. So my poem is going to be about, you know, being a fence sitter, being between in the gray and white, right? Not uh, between being black or white. So as I read my poem, remember that that's the narrative that I was trying to convey in my poem. So here's my contribution. Life is not all black or white, nor is it all wrong or right. Life resides in the gray. Let's call it Fuzzy Bay. When I ask for your opinions, I don't care much for minions. If you equivocate in the gray, I won't give you the time of day. Don't be led astray by your desire to flip-flop away. It's okay to be gay, but never to be perpetually gray. I think that's not too bad for 12 minutes. So there you go. We have now a new game in the sad household. It's called Rapid Fire Poetry. Let us know what you think. Maybe you'll play it in your own house. Remember, one of the wonderful things of the human mind is its infinite ability to come up with creative games, creative play sessions. And so use this opportunity to be with your children, with your family, to let your imaginations run wild. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.